think of the part you forgot to talk about is you ran over to the fleet and then you threw that fish overboard. It's the shoal. I've heard that story just on the way here. Anyhow, that's Gary's sort of story in our 12 or 14 years of doing this. Thank you very much there, Gary. Next up, Jerry's daughter, Luann, is here tonight to celebrate his accomplishments in sport fishing with us. Luann, please come on up and tell us another great story about Captain Jerry Brown. Lopez from Puerto Rico, all small test line to name 
a few of too many to name. I remember the day Elliot Fishman caught the first blue marlin over 800 pounds. I also remember that fateful day in 1977, and the charter never showed, so the captain and the mates decided to go fishing. I remember seeing a sheet instead of a marlin flag hanging from the boat. It would be the world's record marlin of over 1,200 pounds now on display at the airport at the Virgin Islands. Larry Martin was the mate that fought the world's record. I don't think he could have slapped the smile off his face. <laughs> it was the culmination of all the hard work and dedication my father had given to the fishing industry and the buzz of another of too many to name world records brought into our marina. I could go on for hours with stories but I'd like to thank you for recognizing my father. Hard work to establish and build up big game fishing in St. Thomas USVI. Not to forget, he also started the release of fish in the hopes of one day his great, great, great grandchildren may catch one. Thank you so much.